Hey, hey, hey. Happy Tuesday. Hashtag Coffee Chat, guys. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are watching this broadcast on a recorded version, go ahead and uh, fast forward over to about two minutes, two and a half minutes, so you can get right into the content. Hey, I'm Michelle Stefferson. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Coffee Chat. If you are just joining us while I have you, I um, want to remind everybody about a brand new group that was just started. It is called Network Marketing Free Training and Development Group. So head on over there, do that search in the Facebook or way at top in the search bar in Facebook and go look for Network Marketing Free Training and Development Group and go... Uh, join that group, guys. There's lots of valuable content in there for you so that you, too, can rock your business. Hey, Heather, thank you for joining. Um, the question today is going to be, do you or are you keeping yourself visible? Do you know what to do to be visible online? Hmm? And are you keeping yourself visible? So, guys, here we go. Um, take a deep breath. It is Tuesday. And I know I can't believe it. Another Tuesday again, right? Well, you know, that's the way the story goes. Hey, thank you uh, for joining, Marlene. Let's see. Been reading 110 Days to Grow. Be Good girl. Good girl, Heather. Great job. Just take that word trying out of your vocabulary, sweetheart. You're reading and you're doing. And you're doing it with powerful intent. There is no trying, right? Um, I think Yoda from Star Wars said that. Do, no try or something. <laughs> something like that. Um, but yeah, you keep going. Keep rocking, girl. Um, Will, I'd like to schedule a call with you, an actual time that we can sit down and talk for a little bit um, in regards to some of your struggles. Um, is that the name of the book? No, I don't know, Marlene. Um, actually, um, I was talking about a Yoda quote. Do not try. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> um a hundred days, hundred and ten days to grow business. Heather, what is the name of the book? If you can post that below, Marlene is looking for the name of that book that you're reading right now. That would be that would be awesome sauce. If you did that, go ahead and type that below, Heather. Let us know what the name of that book is. Um, no problem, Heather. Um, today, guys, we're focusing on how to get phys visible and the five ways to get more visibility okay so now getting vi visible is one of the most important things if you are business building a business especially on the internet okay it is extremely important um and honestly guys you don't want to be a secret agent right you want to get yourself out there and let people know because, my word, if you were, you know, if you had a certain wonderful flower that you were selling, you know, and well, how are people going to buy it if they don't know you have this wonderful flower, right? So we want to get you visible and we want to get you visible as much as possible. Hey, Gloria, thank you for joining. Okay, so. One of the things, let's say, oh, the thing you sent, 118 to, oh, Marlene, if you go on over to succeedwithmichelle.com, the page, there's a page that pops up. You can also get my ebook on 118 um, ways and places to get your phone ringing off the hook. That's what Heather is talking about. Hey, Gloria, 
Um, so one of the things that I did to get myself visible is especially when a leader in my company. So when I first got started, you know, I, my bottom line is to make sure that everybody knew who I was, right? Because there was no way I was going anywhere. I knew that I put my stake right in the ground when I got started, promised myself that I would never quit and I would continue to do it no matter what, no matter how frustrated I got, no matter what the heck was going on in my life, whether I felt the sky was falling down around me, my bottom line was I was never going to quit. Okay? So I'm going to tell you guys to put your stake in the ground as well. But what did I do? Um, well, I went to a company event. And when I went to the company event, it was one of the very first events when I got started. That was right after I got started. And one of my uplines, somebody in my upline was on stage, you know, winning an award for becoming a six-figure income earner. So my little butt ran all the way from the back of the room. Now, don't ask me why I was in the back of the room. Because every event after that, I made sure I got up front right? Ran my buns from the back of the room, ran all the way to the front, as soon, literally, as soon as she walked off stage, ran up to her, introduced myself, hi, my name is Michelle Stefferson, and shook her hand, and I wanted to make sure, you're welcome, Marlene, and I wanted to make sure she knew who I was. Because there were going to be some big things that I was going to do. I just didn't know yet. I just didn't know what those big things were. But I knew I was going to do them. Okay? And I would step up. So anytime a leader um, needed anything, needed something, I would be one of the first, pe per for first people in my company that would say, Hey, you know, I'm here. And so I would step up and, oh my word, I'm thinking, I think maybe seven years ago is when I stepped up and I started hosting a team company conference call every single Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually tonight. And on that call tonight, getting off the subject for a minute, I am going to be talking about all the tips in regards to doing a Facebook Live. I'm seeing many people out there doing it wrong, okay? So my heart is to be that servant leader, to be sure that everybody has got that information to make, make those Facebook Lives just as perfect, perfect as they can be, okay? So I stepped up. And I started doing conference calls. So find ways to serve many my friends, find ways to serve many. You know, the, you know, there are people, you know, honestly, the people that really go to the top are the ones that step up to the plate and make themselves and find ways to serve many people all in one breath. That's what they do. Okay. Um, it, honestly, I would learn, you know what I did? I would learn something and then I would bring it to that call. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. The person that does the teaching is the one that learns the most. Okay. So remember that. And so I would learn something. I would host a call and, and I got to tell you guys, um, also, when the company and the leaders, the owners of the company needed me, they needed to meet me to go on stage at a convention, I stepped up to the plate because there were people that needed to hear my story. All right? So make yourself visible. Now, I'm not going to say that wasn't comfortable, guys. Okay? I'm not going to say it was comfortable when I first got, got started doing conference calls with my team and my company. 
It wasn't. It wasn't at all. But now, you know, after a while, it got really, really comfy cozy for me. And then I needed to step up and make myself even more visible. And that's when I, you know, had the pleasure of being asked to be on stage with my company. Okay? So step up to the plate, guys. I mean, honestly, top producers trips, that doesn't happen by accident right? Nothing happens by accident <clears throat> and nothing just happens. Um, being a speaker at a company event, that just doesn't happen. In fact, my next top producers trip is going to be next week on Monday and I'll be leaving and going off doing that, you know, so that doesn't happen by accident, guys. Step up, and find ways to serve many. It's going to be uncomfortable. I'm going to tell you it's going to be uncomfortable. But once you get past that point, believe me, you're going to get so comfy cozy with it, you're going to continue to do it. So serve many. Find ways to serve many. Go out, go all out, and take complete, massive action. Take complete, massive action. Number two, right? The next way to get yourself really, really visible, guys, is to create valuable content. Oh, my God. Create valuable content for your niche. And do it every day. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, in the beginning, doing it every day when you're not used to doing it, I totally get it. But can you commit to one day a week and providing valuable content to the your target market in your niche? Can you? Go ahead and let me know below if you can commit to one day a week. I know that you can. Shatai, I know you can. Heather, I know you can. Gloria, Marlene, I know that you can. Okay? One day a week. So, what do you do? Whatever you learn, teach. Whatever you learn, teach. Even if you just learn a little bit, there are people out there that don't know anything. And that little bit that you think that you only know is much more than those people out there, okay? Much more than so many out there. I know you can, Shataya. I know you absolutely can. So teach it. Now, I don't care if it's, I don't know, let me think of some. Um, I don't care if you've just learned how to create a Facebook group, right? If you just learned how to create a Facebook group, teach it. There are so many people out there that don't know how to do that. And the little bit that you, hey, Lene, how are you, Lene? Yes, I know you can, Lene. I know that you can. Okay, now guys, I'm telling you, and most of you are in the company that I am with, and I am telling you right now, when you start creating valuable content, okay, now, for those gals out there in my company, okay, and now in my company, we help people with affordable health care, which is absolutely not Obama scam. Okay. And so what do we need to do, guys? We need to educate the masses of what consumer-driven health care can do for people. Okay? Seven out of ten people don't have a dental plan. You can educate people in regards to that. Look up articles online. 
learn it, invest your time in learning that, print out the article, learn it, write a blog post or do a quick tip video. But whatever you do, guys, you need to create curiosity. And this is where most people miss. Do not say the name of the company. When you do, all curiosity has just flown right out the door. And what you want is you want more people in social media to literally come to you and ask you what it is that you do. Okay? When you create curiosity, that's what you're doing. And more people will follow you. More people will send you friend requests. And I'm talking about not the fake people out there with duplicate you know, profiles, I'm talking about real people that really want to connect with you, okay? I'm serious, guys, and I've seen way too many people out there just, just make the mistake of putting out their, their the name of the company. There's no more, they have no more curiosity, there's none. You just gave away the ship. And when you, you create curiosity, more people are going to come to you, more people are going to follow you, more people are going to ask you questions, and this leads you more open to giving them that presentation. And that is what you want. But you have to create more visibility, okay? I'm going to suggest a blog, Okay, getting yourself a blog. Now, Shataya, you recently got a program that is going to help you do that. And I'm looking to set up a coaching call with you so we can square that all, all that techie stuff up. Okay, so get with me soon on that. But you want a blog. You want real estate on the Internet that is going to give them that where where that where your content is going to live okay where you can have a capture page of um a free report of i don't know the six scary things about healthcare i don't know just putting it out there. You know? And you don't necessarily have to write it yourself, but with all the articles you're reading and learning so that you can teach, you're going to be able to create something by yourself, you see? But you can also Google PLR, which means public label rights. That's something somebody else has written where they give you the right to put your name on it. Hey, these are some golden nuggets out there, guys. Okay? Now, let's move forward quickly. Attend events, guys. You need to make yourself a vi uh, visible. If you want to be and get visible, you need to attend events, right? Go to, network mar go to networking events. Make connections. Walk up to people and say, Hi, I'm Michelle Stefferson. And shake their hand. Just like I did when I went to my company convention and made sure that the leaders knew who I was. But now you're going to network networking events. Okay? If you want to be visible, that's what you need to do. How about the premium go up annually and what to do? I don't know what you mean, Shirley. Oh, okay. About insurance, I guess you're talking about, or identity theft. Um, well, yeah, educating people about the premium. Oh, my word. That, that is about, let me tell you something. In 2017, I believe that the premium is going to be going up by 80% with insurance. Get yourself educated, guys, so that you can educate the masses, right? Okay. 
Yeah, it is cool, Marley. No, it's not cool that it's going up by 80%. But yeah, get yourself educated in the marketplace so that you can educate the masses. Because people need to be educated. That's, they need the education. They're looking for the education. And you making yourself visible in this kind of way is going to show that you're the authority in your niche. Okay? So make yourself available. Make yourself visible. Yeah, people do need to know the options, Shirley. You're right. The PLR is cool, Marlene. It is. Go look that up. You you can find a bunch of stuff. Cheat sheets, ebooks, whatever. Go start doing a search for that. Um, but you need a blog with a capture page, baby. You know, so if you're looking for something like that, that's not going to cost you like an arm and a leg and a lot of time trying to figure it out, let me know. And I'll hook you up to something that I know about. All righty. Um, all right. Well, what's next? Well... The next thing to get yourself visible is do live videos like we're doing right here. Do live videos. When you do live videos, it really creates the know, the like, and the trust experience with other people. They get to see you exactly who you are, where you are, right here and right now, even with the hair that's not looking too too good today. I can look in there and I can check my lipstick. <laughs> no, serious, guys. Do live videos. Let's see. I've been wanting to blog and also each out to businesses and has no clue. You have no clue, Heather. I can help you with that, Heather. I'm just full of, I got, of, I'm just full of resources, baby girl. But no, no, I will. In fact, I did a quick tip video on my timeline today, Heather, about a four-step formula for videos. I even posted that that quick that four-step quick tip video on my fan page, which is the Home Career Network. That if you haven't liked my page already, you're going to want to go over and do a search for the Home Career Network. And you can find my page. You'll know it's mine when you see it. And just go ahead and click a like there so that you can keep on top of that. But, yeah, go right on. Thank you, Shirley. Um, go right on to that quick tip video. I am working on giving you guys uh, as much content as I can every single day to keep you working in your business. In fact, I believe I posted that quick tip video in our group network marketing free training and development group okay so go ahead and check that out i like to make sure it's in different spots so that people can i make sure that it's visible for everyone okay so do live videos guys um heather i'm doing a scripts call tonight on facebook live so you're going to want to be there thank you shirley <coughs> all right i'm going to be training that tonight on a conference call. Um, do it every day. Guys, let me just tell you something about Facebook real quick. Facebook has got these, I can't say the word, I get tongue-tied, it's called algorithms. I think that I did that without my tripping over my tongue. And you need to be consistent every single day. Also, when it comes to the live video, you should do it and start doing it from your personal page. And then share it to your fan page. And share it to um, groups, too, as well. Because you want yourself to be more visible. But I would share it. Share the Facebook Live and your video from... Okay, when it comes to the Facebook Live, real quick. You do the Facebook Live because you're going to get more engagement on your personal page. Okay. Then you forward it and share it on your fan page. From your fan page, you share it to groups. Okay. Oh, boy. I got a bunch of good goodies coming up for you guys really, really soon. 
And with that being said, guys, don't forget to go get that free cheat sheet that I created. I have that cheat sheet in the Facebook Daily Method, uh, Facebook Cheat Sheet DMO, it's called, in the Network Marketing Free Training and Personal Development Group. So go on over there and go get that. Because that's also going to help you with your daily method of operation as well. All right. Um, it is michellestefferson.com forward slash Facebook cheat sheet DMO. So go get that. Hey, Michelle, haven't talked to you, darling. Thank you for joining. Um, can a live video be done on computer? Um, it can be done on a computer, surely. However, the um, it's not really an app. You can go to OBS. OBS. I think I have um, somewhere in my notes here. It's called OBS. Okay? And do a search for that. And you can go right onto your computer. It took me a little bit to figure it out, surely so that you know, okay? Um, but you can certainly play with it. And then OBS also has a fan page that you can go to, and they have all sorts of little ticks and uh, ticks, tips and trick videos so that you can learn how to use it and connect your feed with the OBS software. I'm having an awesome day, Scott. Thank you very, very much. That's right, Scott. Got to make yourself visible. Right. I know it would be easier, Shirley. I, I totally get it. But yeah, um, you can definitely do that O-B-S. Okay? And do a search for that. All righty? Um, next, let's move on, guys. Taking a look at the clock. <laughs> You want to host a free basic workshop to get yourself visible, like a Google Hangout, um, and just teach what you know, guys. There's so many people out there that don't know stuff, okay? So teach what you know. Um, even some libraries have online workshops that you can actually uh, get to be a part of, and you can do some online workshops with your library. So get yourself visible. Um, cool, Shirley. Awesome. Let me know if you have any difficulties with that. I know for me it was kind of kooky for me in the beginning. Okay. Um, guys, and really, you want to take, go all out and take massive action. Really, guys, the, between the Facebook Lives, the blog posts, you want to educate people. Um, free ebooks, free cheat sheets that you want to give away, um, that you want to have a capture page for. You want to build your list, right? You want to keep that list active with information. Oh, and don't let me forget this important tip um, your list. Now, some of us in our companies, we, we have an autoresponder, it's like a replicated thing that were given to, to us by our companies, replicated. Um, it's not your own. You don't own it, and you can't really fudge much of it, you know? Um, however, most of us have that, and we've created a list of people through whatever postings that we've done for our primary business. Well, that's a list all in itself. And you're going to want to email that list and let them know to connect with you on Facebook and that you're going to be live. And if they have any questions to ask you the questions in your Facebook live so that you can get more engagement as well. No, nothing comes easy, Scott. But I'll tell you something, when you continue to do it over and over again, it does um, gets simple. I'm not going to say easy. It gets simpler. Yep, free websites are available everywhere as well. But I do got to say this one thing, though, Scott. I have found that with a lot of free websites out there, you don't really get 
the search engine optimization like you should. Um, you really don't, you know. So let's take a word of look. Look at the word "free" for a minute, right? What do you get with free? Not much. <laughs> Not much. Um, what I have found is WordPress. Okay, and with WordPress, um, I wouldn't take the free one. I'm going to tell you guys, and you're going to want to have it hosted. Um, but I do have a program that's going to put everything together for you if that's what you're looking for. Um, you're going to want themes. Now, you don't know what the heck, you know, with themes. I know when I first started out with WordPress, oh, my word, I didn't know, right, themes. I didn't have any clue. Um, I purchased many themes, and turned out I didn't really like them. You know, so that's another thing. And then there's also certain plugins that you're going to want so that the back end of your website works. It's kind of like the moving parts and the gears of the websites and the, of the website. And that's what plugins are, which give you widgets and gives you um, certain cap capabilities that a lot of free websites do not give you. Uh, it just doesn't. You know, and you want the capabilities, you want the capture page. I know a lot of free websites don't give you a capture page, right? And But here's another thing, though. Here's another bullet point, is that even if you did do that, a lot of us have not taken copywriting or ad copy courses, okay? Which basically is knowing what the heck to say so you don't repel your market, your target market, Right? Um, and so there becomes a problem too. But I, guys, look, I, I happen to have a really great educational blog, plugin, you know, program that if you're looking to take a look at something like that, please let me know and uh, get with me and message me and I'll share it with you. Okay, it's going to give you all of that stuff so you don't even have to worry about trying to figure it out. It's all right, all right there for you. Um, I know for me, and if you guys haven't had that kind of experience, I'm going to tell you something, guys. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, when I jumped out into my own real estate online, it took me like a year and a half or so to figure it all out all by myself until I found a program that just kind of did it for me, <laughs> you know. And I don't know where that program's been all my life, but hallelujah, thank God for it. Um, yeah, you know, that's the thing, Scott. So free, you know, what do you get with free? Nothing, if not much, right? So you want to be thinking about that. You want to invest in something that is going to give you the success you want now, as well as way into the future and something that becomes automated for you so that down the road, you are hanging out on the beaches making money. That's how that works, right? You have people out there all over the internet, make $10,000 your first month. That's a lot of crap, okay? doesn't work like that. Um, but can you make $10,000 a month residually? Reoccurring income, you, you you bet your ass you can, but it's going to take time. But most importantly, guys, during that time, you want to have the right systems in place, right from the word go, right? You want to have the right training, the right coaching, everything right from the word go, Okay. And so not be well into it years later and then come to find out, oh my gosh, you know, why wasn't I told about this? Well, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you about it now. So you're not, um, that's right, Rick, you betcha, you know, um, but that's, that's it. That's the bottom line, guys, when it comes to uh, Getting yourself visible out there online. Get yourself visible. Those are the ways that you get yourself visible. But you got to get out there and you got to take massive action, guys. 
I know it's going to be very, very uncomfortable in the beginning. I get it. I've been there. Oh, boy, have I been there. In fact, so uncomfortable I've had panic attacks. <laughs> you betcha. But you know what? You just got to do it. And you got to get out of your own head and know that it's not about you. It's about being a servant leader and just educating the masses. And that's what Facebook Live is going to do. That's what video is going to do. That's what YouTube is going to do. And, oh, guys, you want to take your Facebook Lives and upload them to YouTube. That makes you global. Makes you global. And having a, a great SEO website out there, that makes you global. Not a replicated site. Just a couple little tips out there. Did you see the news video on my shop? No, I didn't yet, Scott, but I'm going to make it a point to go look for it. Is that on your timeline? If it's on your timeline, I'm going to go look it up after this live, after we end the live. Um, I'd like to see that, <laughs> actually. That's cool. Cool stuff, Scott. My word, that's awesome. All righty, guys. Is Before I let you guys go, is there any questions, comments, or challenges that you have in regards to becoming more visible online? If there is, go ahead and post them below. And if you ask me those questions after the uh, broadcast, I'll make sure that I come in and I, uh, I, I PM you so that we can get those questions answered. Thank you, Scott. I'll go and click on that after, um, you know, after the video's been, after our live has been um, posted. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty stoked about looking at that. <laughs> All righty, guys. Well, well, well. Questions, comments, or challenges, guys, let me know. Go ahead and post those below. And again, guys, you also need a Facebook cheat sheet for a daily method of operation. Go on over to michellestefferson.com forward slash Facebook cheat sheet DMO and go pick up that cheat sheet so you have that handy every day. And oh, hint, go ahead and laminate it and use an eraser marker, pen thingy, so that you can check off these things every single day to keep you in motion. Um, if you cannot find that, you can go on over the, to the Network Marketing Free Training and Development Group and go join the group because it's in there and you can go get it in there as well. So, guys, I want you to win. I want you to win. I want you to be empowered. I want you to be visible all over the place. I want to see your rock in your businesses, guys. Um, if you want some more, go ahead and head on over to SucceedWithMichelle.com. Have a sparkling and empowered day, my friends. I'll see you in the next coffee chat. Just remember, you are deserving. You are capable, and most importantly, underscore, you are worthy. Absolutely, go on over, go get that, uh, Marlene, um, share it with your team members as well, or whatever, you know, share it out. Um, and guys, my rock star girls out there, again, you know, I haven't figured out a hashtag for my rock star guys out there. But Scott and Rick, if you can think of one, let me know and post it below, and I'll say it too at the end of my coffee chats. But with that being said, guys, hey, my rock star girls out there rocking it and getting more visible online, guess what? Before you do that, remember to hashtag always check your lipstick. <laughs> Rock on, my friends. I love you. Let's kill it online. Let's make it happen. And oh, my personal branding 101 ebook is coming real soon. Be on the lookout for it, guys. Have a great day. Rock on, rock stars. 
See you soon.